What is going on guys, back with another video. Today I just wanted to show you guys what came in the mail um, this past week. So first, uh, this came in the mail earlier this week. Uh, this is actually an Entertainment, exclusive, Entertainment Earth exclusive. Uh, I ordered this back in, I want to say, in early October. Um, this was set up for a pre-order for March, so to get it in September, or excuse me, December, is a plus. I uh, forgot I even ordered this, um, but this is the Entertainment Earth exclusive Super Saiyan Goku. And as you can see, it glows in the dark. So I haven't tried it out yet. I'm not sure if the whole pop glows or if it's just the hair, which I'm assuming that's probably what it is. Um, but definitely something that, nice to add to the collection. Um, Dragon Ball Z is actually how I got into the Funko Pop habit or hobby, and uh, it's evolved into what's behind me now. Um, so the Dragon Ball Z's ones are all, always something nice to get. Um, I know they just dropped the new wave of them, um, actually on Entertainment Earth for pre-order, so I may end up picking up some of them or all of them. Um, but just wanted to show you guys this one right here, really nice. Um, I have all the Super Stands so far, I think, other than Broly. So definitely something that I had to add to the collection. Up next, we have Fear from Inside Out. So I actually got this on eBay. Um, I had a gift card, I believe it was for $5, so I figured I'd get something cheap, uh, cheaper pop. I think this was $7, so I ended up paying 2 bucks out of pocket, which isn't bad. Um, this actually, if people aren't aware, is a vaulted pop. Um, the whole set actually was vaulted, I think, back in 2017. Uh, so this is definitely, if you're into the Disney pops or if you like Inside Out, definitely one to get. Um, the reason why I say that is it's vaulted, and Inside Out is definitely a popular Disney movie, so I can see these going up in price um, relatively soon, especially if a sequel is announced for this, um, if it already hasn't been. Um, but there's all six of them in the set. Like I said, they're all vaulted, and they're still pretty cheap. I think the most expensive one is Dis Disgust, and I think she's only like 20 bucks. The rest are like 15 bucks. So if you're into the set, then it's a Disney this set is definitely one to look into right now. So up next, we have a box from actually Box Lunch. Haven't opened this one up yet. Uh, the other two I wanted to open, see this, the condition were of the boxes. Um, like I said, I'm not really into judging the boxes so much, but I just don't want them to be crushed. Um, and coming from eBay, um, I just wanted to make sure it was look good before I had to make a complaint with the, the seller. Uh, this is actually a box lunch, box lunch exclusive that I've been having my eyes on for a long time. It's a movie moment, so I didn't want to pay the $32.90, I think it was, for it. I was waiting to see if I could get a discount or use a coupon or box lunch money to get it. I um, actually ended up getting enough to get this for $8.03. So you can see right there. eight dollars and three cents so that is a win where I live there's no taxes so that's in total after tax after shipping eight dollars so as you're already probably aware this is the Mickey Mouse movie moment from Fantasia so this is really really nice I like I said I've been waiting to get this one just was kind of being patient and that's one thing that um, you do learn this hobby that a lot of times you're able to get what you want sometimes it just takes a, uh, a, a little bit to get it sometimes you can get them on sale um, there's always always restocks for stuff um, so if you miss out something the first time uh, it's not always in your best interest to actually go and pay you know the resale price for it um, you can definitely get it for retail eventually and if it's from like box lunch or hot topic um, by that time you may have accumulated in some hot cash or coupons and you can get it on the restock for discount so I want to take this one out of the box just so you guys can see that is really really nice the details on this are really nice again I don't have any of the movie movie movements so this is the first one I got and it's not going to be the last to have looking at this um, but I definitely have a lot of Disney Pops. It's a Disney section back there. Um, one day I'll show you guys the whole collection so you can see what's back there because you can't see it. Um, but this is definitely getting added to that. 
the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey is one of the best Disney characters ever. So, there you go. The Sorcerer's Apprentice movie moment for Disney. Alright, and last but not least, we have the Banana Arnold from Hey Arnold. As you can see, this was a GameStop exclusive. I did pre-order this. I was really actually pretty hyped when I saw that they were releasing this pop. Um, they don't do too many of the Nickelodeon ones. Um, Nickelodeon is what I grew up with as a kid. Um, so this definitely brings back some memories and some nostalgic as well. Um, but this was part of the set with Gerald. I actually have that too. Uh, him as a strawberry. I wish they would have made these two scented. Uh, would have definitely gave a different dynamic to the pop. Having this one smell like banana and just like strawberry. Um, but nonetheless, definitely an iconic episode from Harold. I don't know if you guys watched that growing up, but it definitely was a big part of my childhood. And this is one of the most iconic episodes of that. So it was really cool to see Funko uh, take a moment from the show and turn it into a pop um, that does bring back so many memories. So, like I said, here are the pops I got for this week. This, as well as the movie moment from Box Lunch, the Mickey. So, just wanted to show you guys what I'm getting in the mail, what I'm getting that collection. Um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please let me know. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for your continued support. Until next time.